Morning, everyone. Another case of 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball coming at you. This is 8-Box Pick Your Team number 6 from jazbeescasebreaks.com on a Friday. There it is. There we go. There's Rory. Last spot Mojo Phillies. Good luck to him. Good luck to everybody in this one. Oh, John, I'm sorry to hear that. John Oakery says his cat died today. How old was the cat? Hopefully we can get you some mojo out here. You got your brew crew here. Pug is great, Ashley. He's doing well. His name is Bubba. He's a bit of a monster. There he is, right there. About two and a half years old. A lot of puppy energy. Gets into gets into it at the dog park in the big dog area. He's always wrestling around with huskies and pit bulls and whatnot. It's on him if he gets hurt. He likes it though. Doesn't deal with those yappy dogs in the small dog park area. He's a, he's a pretty tough cookie. About 20 pounds. I had him when I could probably I could probably hold him in my palm like this. He was about this big. When I first got him. He's pretty athletic. Keep him trim. Oh, that's a great name for a cat, John. Lambo. That's a good one. 13. That's a that's a that's a good long life for a cat though, right? I think thir 13. House cats thir 13 to 20, I think sounds sounds good. He was a fat orange tabby cat. Oh. Over the summer, no, this is a couple summers ago. There was a there was a there was a poor little cat that was uh, lost in my neighborhood in Santa Monica, and he was he was crying all night. And so I took him in, he slept at my feet, and then we found I guess we found its owner the next day. Cat talk is the convention center. So next year's national, there's a double there is a double tree. And it's dog friendly? I'm scared to take the dog on an airplane though. I would have to keep him in my lap. <laughs> He's not gonna stay still. He'll be so pissed. He'll be like, what are we doing in here? It's loud, hurts my ears. Wow, nice Aussie Albius to start things off. That goes to Jonathan Kent and the Braves. And that is 85 out of 100. Good start. And another nice one. One of the Giants' top prospects, Ed Ram. Ed Ramos with... Keep knocking those top loaders over. Ed Ramos with the Giants. Right, yeah. I hear the horror stories from United Airlines, Ashley. Like, you know, someone's dog gets like, you know, stuck in the bottom of the plane and it freezes to death. Or what about the the French bulldog that suffocated in the overhead compartment? It was like the family dog and the mom with kids. Terrible. There's Luis Escobar for the Pirates. That goes to Paul Coolwit. Welcome to Cat Talk, ladies and gentlemen. Cat and Dog Talk. And don't take your animals on United Talk. And there's Jesus Luzardo. That's for the Oakland A's. Ed Ram has the Bay Area teams. He had the Giants and he also has the A's. Both teams hit.
Nice Victor Robles. We'll top load these before they get uh, sent out. Just in the interest of time, we'll just sleeve them. Did we look at these already? Yeah, we did. All right, four autos. Box one, nice Albius to start things off. Box two. Next box. Good luck, everybody. A lot of baseball craziness happening today, boys and girls. The A's signed Joe Kim Soria. Dodgers announced the Joe Kelly signing. Rocky signed Daniel Murphy. Rays to sign Charlie Morton. A's acquire Yurkson Profar in a three-team deal with the Rangers and Rays. Cardinals get Andrew Miller. Cardinals going to be sneaky good. Nationals to sign Annabelle Sanchez. Padres signed Ian Kinsler. Angels to sign... Trevor Cahill. And of course, Astro signed Michael Brantley. What up, Cody West? Oh, I saw Cody West here. He said, oh, you took in a stray cat as well. He named it Baker. It's a girl. That's okay. That's a good, is that a good name for a girl? Yeah, the NL Central is getting interesting. John, we'll, we'll, find, we'll try to find you a Keston or a Bryce in here for Lambeau. Ashley had a boy rat named Sarah when you were six. At a 250. And there's Luis Escobar again, Pirates. And that is Paul Cool Whit with the Buckos. We'll set one of those Otanis aside. There's Nick Madrigal to 150. It's a good one for the White Sox. And Brady Singer. For the Royals. And that will be for Jason. Jason Reardon with the KC Royals. John O's saying Brewers have a ton of depth, especially in the minors. Need some starting pitching, though. So, yeah, what, what, what are the, uh, what's the Brewers' plans for that in the offseason? I don't know what the free agent or... Uh, there's Tristan Houses, again. That's for Rick Barker and the Red Sox. Nice Tristan Casas. That's the boom emoji. Look it up. Looks exactly the same. Make sure they beat the Dodgers in the postseason. Dodge even make the postseason. There's Ozzy Albius, Jonathan Kent for the Bravos. Dodgers have won like the NL West like eight million years in a row. Like what are the odds that it can happen again? All right, another nice Ozzy Albius for Jonathan Kent. Next box. That really, I'm looking at watching this Maker's Mark commercial, ladies and gentlemen. That that wax that they do is real. 
on, on the top of Maker's Mark. I just thought that was like plastic. I guess it is kind of a plastic, but I didn't know that they, the commercial seems to suggest that there are people on the factory line kind of dipping the top of those in that red plastic, a waxy material. I didn't know that. Brewers need a catcher. What about, what about Yasmani Grandal? Probably not, right? He's going to cost too much. Um, what about JT Real Muto? If you guys have depth, reunite J JT Real Muto with Christian Yelich, the NL MVP. Get the band back together. Move some outfield. All right, and we got Blake Snell, 17 out of 99. That's what Rory said, too. Get the band back together. JT Real Muto with, uh, of the Marlins with Christian Yelich. There's the Rays, Blake Snell, your AL Cy Young Award winner. That goes to Jeremy Tillman and the Rays. There's Andrew Benintendi to 250. Where are you guys going? Ashley, you guys are in the car? What time is it out there? 10.30? What are you guys doing? Date night? EA needs a Jared Kalanick who's from, from Waukesha, Wisconsin. EA, did you know that? Nailed it. Pronunciation, nailed it. Cole Wynn going to the Rangers, Big Boys 007. We haven't seen Kalanick in a while. Riley Adams. Oh, heading home from how is how is uh how's mom doing? I know she's been ill. So not date night. Thought you guys were having a wild Friday night. Uh, there's Nick Madrigal. Nice one for the White Sox. TC. With the White Sox. This is your what? Your fourth overall pick? Fourth, I think. Somewhere around there. Top five pick? Yeah, that that is the missus, Jono. Ashley Wagner. Rory's better half. That's exactly what I said, John. <clears throat> Isn't that what I said? I said it just like the way you typed it in there. Nailed it. Yeah, he's from the, from the Milwaukee suburbs. Prep school star. A lot, lot of buzz around him in Milwaukee, according to my, my correspondence on the ground in that area. Based John O and Rory. According to my correspondence there. That's what they say. And then he got then he got him then he got traded to uh, the Mariners, I think. And in, in that Cano deal, I think. Pretty sure. I think that Astro signing Michael Brantley, I think, is a really interesting deal. Michael Brantley, if you guys remember was like, had a near MVP campaign before he just got sidelined for years with a bunch of uh, shoulder injuries. So I, I feel like that could be, he's healthy. That could be an interesting play for the Strohs. Giants signed Pat Vendit. 
think he's the ambidextrous guy. Dodger had him for a little bit. And Angels claim Parker Bridwell. Didn't they already have Parker Bridwell? All right, there's an Otani card on top. And an orange, Christian Yelich. All right, that's a start. John O, 3 out of 25, no ink. But there's your NL MVP. Hey, you, you, Ashley, you tell Rory with that with that kind of potty mouth, there will be no there will be no Phillies for him. Unbelievable! This is a family show. There's Logan Gilbert, John Samuelson, knows when to pull the trigger tonight on the Bowman's best. I feel like every team he's gotten has hit tonight. Nice Logan Gilbert. I feel like he can't miss tonight. Just one of those nights. Not like my not like my NBA picks tonight. Those, no, those are no good. He said he told you to spell it like that. Well, he knows it's family. Daniel Lynch, <laughs> Royals. There's another one, Jason. I read that in an Elvis voice, John Tamlinson. Is that what you were going for? Freddie Freeman, a 150 for the Braves. Ashley's language is even worse. I fear for your children. They'll, they'll be talking like sailors, Ashley. Going to raise hellions. Wow, nice. Our first Christian Pash, 37 out of 50. Pash? There you go. Nice one for Jonathan Kent and the Atlanta Braves. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> children, Ashley's not ready for kids yet. Only if they bark. Maybe a, maybe a, maybe a whole family of pugs. There's Josh Bro. What up, bro? TC with that one. Brent. Yes, Bowman's best does include some uh, some vets as well. Still, still prospect heavy. Under, of course, it's still under the Bowman name. It's prospect heavy, but yeah, they they'll they'll mix in some uh, short printed vet autos in there. Those are super hard to hit, but they are in there. Guys, remember, uh, remember when the Pug won Best in Show not too long ago? A few years ago? It's a video on YouTube. Guys, what a majestic Pug that Pug is. I think Best in Show at Westminster. And then I looked at looked at the Pug, at, at Bubba, the Pug. And I looked at him and I was just like, you're never going to be a show dog. You're just too wild. Too wild. You never take direction. He's pretty well trained, but but just kind of a, a little monster sometimes. Another mastiff? More if you could convince Rory. Man, sometimes sometimes the sometimes the pug hangs out with a with a mastiff and it's hilarious. Because Bubba's so small, the mastiffs are so big. I try to get a picture every once in a while, it's pretty hilarious. Almost there, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing on? Uh, are we are we getting a head start on other orders here? I see four orders coming in, so let's see what we're... six orders coming in. What are we doing next? Are we doing no six box jumbo is the same. Football is. The same. I'm assuming you guys want more Bowman's best. Don't Bowman next Bowman's best is down to uh, four. 
So the, that's our last Bowman's best for the time being, break seven. Reds, uh, White Sox, Indians, Pirates, and Giants are remaining. So let's knock it out. We'll do it right after this. And then we'll have time to, you know, we'll still have plenty of time to see if we can knock out yet another break tonight. We're in a good groove, ladies and gentlemen. There's Chris Davis, Ed Ram with the A's. Rick Barker says, uh, Pug Chihuahua mixes are the, a uh, Pug Wawa. Remember, remember Wawa's on the East Coast? I just discovered those for the first time recently. There's Mookie Betts at 250. And we've got an Austin Meadows Best Performers Gold Auto, 11 out of 50. That goes to Paul and the Pirates. Nice. There's Austin Meadows again for Paul and the Pirates. This time base auto. I think his, his brother is in Bowman Draft. I forget what team, but we can do Bowman Draft tonight as well. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. There's Dustin Fowler, Dust in the Wind. And there's Fernando Tatis Jr., 88 out of 99. And that goes to Josh Proust and the Padres. Nice one for the Friars. This is a big one, folks. This guy is supposed to be, be the real deal Holy Field. Maybe we'll see him this year, soon. A cup of coffee this year, maybe? It's a nice hit. Set that aside for picture time. All right. Three boxes to go. Four, eight, 12 autographs to go. Gilo says it's halftime in LA. You think you just saw LeBron and AD go to a bar? LeBron James and Anthony Davis walk into a bar. It's the beginning of a joke, right? Um, the uh, local radio guys in LA were saying, you know what, LeBron and AD should just come to the game together in the same car. <laughs> and just freak everybody out. The Twitterverse would go insane. Uh, must be during the NBA Finals. There's, there, there are crazy people in LA who think that the Lakers are actually going to go to the Finals. Crazy talk. Unless we get Anthony Davis by the trading deadline in February. All right, moving on. Next one we've got for my Dodgers, their future catching prospect right here, Kybert Ruiz. That goes to... Josh Proust, the little Dodger Joe Mojo. I had to check to see if I was wearing a Dodger hat. I forgot. There's Jordan Groshans for the Blue Jays. Karen with the Jays. Thousand dollars to 
Evan White for the M's. John Samuelson with another one. Nice one, John. Picking the winners tonight. All right. It's Colton. Should be one more auto. Where, where are you? There you are. Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman going to Derwin and the Cardinals. Nice. Derwin on the board. Oh, that must be okay. <laughs> I read that and I was just like, "Wait, what is the, what does the Supreme Court justice have to do with baseball? Why is?" I was very confused for a second. Then I realized that must be the name of his school or whatever. All right, it's late. All right, two boxes, eight autos to go. Have not seen a train whistle yet. No train whistle auto, no train whistle card, no printing plates. I don't think I don't know if there's any plates in there. No printing plates, no out of fives, no one of ones, autographs or otherwise. NBA day for me, John Samuelson. Time for Damian Lillard to turn it on. Kevin Kramer for Paul and the Pirates. Autograph. <laughs> what if AD came back and he was sitting on the Lakers for the second half? That'd be kind of funny. I feel like there are, there, there are collective bargaining agreement rules against that. For the Blue Jays, Roger Clemens to 50. Best performers. That is for Karen and the Blue Jays. There's Fernando Romero for the Twins out of 250. That'll be for Jeremy Tillman. Raphael Devers Atomic. And Shane McClanahan for the Rays. Jeremy Tillman with the Rays. Got Ryan Rollison for the Rocks. Paul Cool Whit. And for the Cubbies, Aramis Aidman. That's for Paul and the Cubs. Paul knows how to pick them too. All right, final four autographs coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Cross those fingers. Good luck, everybody. EA's nervous. I know Rory's looking for that Alec bomb. Got to get stuff for John Oakray, too. Got to get stuff for a lot of people here. All right, maybe some hits for the hit list. Good luck, everybody.
Next break is our last break of Bowman's Best Baseball. We won't have uh, more until next week. Pick your team seven is down to one team left, so that'll be happening right after this. Down to one, just the Indians left. I think they, they must be under, I think that's an under $20 team, so I'm sure we'll be doing it right after this one. to go. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. There's Nico. Nico Horner for Paul Kuhlwitt and the Cubbies. Auto one of four. Haven't seen a double auto yet, a dual auto yet. 48 out of 99, Clint Frazier for the Yankees. Now to go to TC and the Bronx Bombers. And then we've got Jonathan India for the Red Legs. That'll be for Rick Barker and the Reds. Nice. It's a great prospect there, Rick. And there's a redemption here, boys and girls. Any guesses on that redemption? Seems to be only a few names. This guy's one of them. 23 out of 50, early indications. Jaron Kendall for the Dodgers. Uh, that'll be Josh Proust with my Dodgers. And we got Brandon Marsh for the Angels. That'll be for Randy Ramos. John Samson guessing a Kendall, Jaron Kendall. EA guessing a nice Bryce. find out together congrats you are due to receive a 2018 atomic refractor parallel which i think are those autographs are out at 25 of k i don't think i've seen a k r chris bryant wow Paul Cool Whitlock with the Cubbies. That was unexpected. We saw a Rizzo one earlier today, too. Nice. There you go. It's a good way to end it, ladies and gentlemen. That was 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your team number six in the books. Brand new release. I think we're going to sell out on brand new release night. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time for the last break. Bye-bye.